So in this part of this MongoDB data modeling series, I'm going to talk about operational factors and data models, which impact the performance and other aspects of the data modeling. Atomicity leads to the fact that how whatever operations we are doing on our MongoDB collections or documents. So each operation, each operation is being done at the document level. So if we are doing insert operation or update operation, it is happening at the document level. Sharding again, selecting an appropriate shard key is also a part of data modeling only. Indexes again before implementing indexing please note down some of the behavior of indexes so that while selecting an index you are comfortable or you are well aware of the fact that how indexes are meant to behave each index requires at least 8 kb of data space so it is not a big constraint i guess Adding an index has some negative performance impact for write operations. Why? Because for each write operation, index also has to be updated. The corresponding entry has to be made in the index as well as when we are going to update that, that time also index also might have to be updated in case that index involves the value which is being updated. Collections with high read to write ratio often benefit from additional indexes, right? Where read is heavy, then write, right there we benefit from additional indexes. Large number of collections also is an operational factor where it could be possible that we are storing all the data in one collection, but eventually it may help to have multiple collections to store the same data. Maybe one example could be that we can have logs collection, different logs collection for different environments. For example, it could be dev collection for dev collection for dev logs, same way stage collection for stage and same way pre-production, production and so on. Consider embedding of small documents if collection contains large sum of small documents. So we can think of some logic wherein we can have a big document which contains linking between those small documents and can be stored in a single document. Storage optimization for small documents. Most of the time developers use it as the object ID which is auto generated or in case of users we can store user email or user phone number so that these are unique or in case of products we can have some unique attribute which uniquely identify the products right for example it could be SKU or some other field which even differentiates the different products, shorter field names, right? Then embed documents. Shorter field names could be that in case we want to have a very long field name that can be avoided. Embedding of documents is preferred. Data lifecycle management. Maybe we want to have time to live feature enabled for the data with short life, right? Maybe for logs, we do not want to store the data for complete six months. We want to move it to archive collection, right? So cap collection may also be used for this purpose. I hope this will give you some insight onto operational factors, right? Whether it comes to selecting the shard key or some other aspects where the document size is small enough. Thank you.